hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Achua. as you may be aware i love latafa i do enjoy their fragrances a lot i have a lot of fragrances from the house i think most of my fragrances are made up of latafa fragrances it is a middle eastern dupe house that is quite affordable and accessible to a lot of people they excite me whenever there is a release from latafa i always look forward to most of them not all of them you know but most of them do excite me however in the last couple of you know years that i have been on youtube and personally getting fragrances to to use for myself i've experienced some sort of you know i would not say sort of but i've experienced some bad latafa fragrances and that is what i have compiled into this video giving you my personal experience as to my west latafa fragrances that is not according to any poll on Instagram or anywhere. No, like it is my personal pure experience. And I have 10 of such fragrances. That excludes fragrances from Latafa I don't enjoy, like the underlip, underlip flora. Um, there's been several of them, you know, the higher um there's a lot of Latafa fragrances I don't enjoy, but I don't consider them as part of my West, you know, Latafa fragrances. But these 10, I think, are my West. And I'm going to start with Zanzibar, you know, the Zanzibar one, which I think what had a, like a brilliant idea. I think the whole idea was to create like a suntan lotion vibe, but make, make it more masculine for men. I think that was the whole idea of Zanzibar, you know, because it gives me a sort of suntan lotion vibe with the um, lavender and then iris sort of, you know, to gears towards men. I would not necessarily consider it a mas a unisex fragrance it is more masculine but i think latafa missed the mark somewhere when it came to zanzibar according to my nose to me zanzibar could have been better you know if the blend like i don't know that the, maybe there is a combination of the iris the lavender and the coconuts you know and some other notes that sort of you know throws me off personally i think Personally, that Zanzibar was quite a feel, you know, as we can see sometimes even from YouTube, you know, Assad is still like one of the reigning kings when it comes to Middle Eastern Latafa houses. People still rave about Assad. But as soon as Zanzibar came out, I hardly ever hear about it after the initial reviews. You know, I hardly see it on anybody's top 10 list. And that is not to say that is the reason why I think it is the worst. It's my personal experience. I feel the, the, the whole essence of that getting a suntan lotion vibes for men was not captured well so i'll put it on that list however in replacement of um zanzibar i would recommend blooming bliss from the house of afnan for men you know if you're a man looking for a coconut sort of feel coconut vanilla feel just like what um zanzibar wanted to do i would say look into um afnan's blooming bliss you know but it, it, it's not it is it's going to give you a coconut that is like not a suntan lotion vibe but it's going to be an enjoyable one with that heavy woods you know the woods that sort of pal palisanto feel that a lot of men are, are going to enjoy so i would rather say go for blooming bliss from the house of anan afnan than um zanzibar from the house of latafa that is going to be the first one the next one i have here is going to be another um coconut heavy scent and that is le, le african drama i really anticipated highly le african drama because of the package the bottle you know the the woman beating the drum and dancing to her own tune sort of vibes and that also inspired me to get it you know coupled with a few reviews i saw but as soon as i sprayed le african or le african drama it was like one of the harshest west coconuts you know bent chemically things i had ever smelled yes i was told to i know i know whenever i do videos like this people tell me uh when i do like uh first impressions or my first reaction to fragrances people go like let it macerate let it macerate and yes i do let my fragrances macerate for the for the most part the african drama has been in my collection for about six or seven months now and i still do not like it it is improved it has improved but it still gives me not a very you know smooth coconut florals you know vanilla um creamy 
suntan lotion vibes that i would have loved people have likened it to dngs the only the only one intense i really do not get that resemblance you know it, 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 it was not good the african drama to my nose was not good and it is one i've been trying to sell or i was trying to sell for quite some time i did a declutter where i was able to sell a bit of my you know fragrances and none of my friends who smells the african drama was interested in it you know and that was what confirmed it to me because they picked up like several other things over the african drama and i still have it in my collection that i'm trying to get rid of you know so yes that is going to be my number two my number three is going to be the um let me just go straight to it the number three is going to be one of the recent releases and that this is the fragrance that inspired this video brush vanille yes i know people go like it's too early let it macerate it's been just one week it is exactly seven days since i received this and i know it is new but if you would like something from the beginning sometimes you would know sometimes you would know this i don't get the appeal you know according to what i'm hearing it's supposed to be this complex bread you know sort of vibes that i hardly get that bread butter sort of you know accord to it i'm getting that fair balsam you know vibes and the heliotrope and the freesia i'm getting that greenness and the florals and it feels quite bitter there's something that has like a bitter you know taste after taste sort of feel to it i was trying to get into it you know i was trying to condition myself to sort of um, appreciate this a lot more the more i do it the more i i don't you know i was conditioning myself to to like it so that i'll actually sort of um, grow fond of, of it but i still do not like this one you know i have it on my arm now i can smell it now i can smell it but not as intensely as other latafes it's like um sort of you know gives you a nice like a scent bubble but not like a nice one in my opinion personally i would say sample this don't blind buy this because you might not like it it is more of that complex vibe but it, 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 it's supposed to be a gourmand but it's not going to give you a gourmand like the typical gourmand that a lot of us are used to i guess a slight or a faint nuances of the bread but not like a realistic bakery bread i understand the brush is like a french style um bread that is like um not sweet you know and sweeting sort of feel maybe like the i don't know it gives me um a very heavy floral fair balsam sort of vibes that greenness that bitterness i don't foresee this one you know yes i will still allow it to macerate but it is not i i don't foresee this one becoming one of the best gourmands i have come across my my idea of a gourmand is not to try to to make it smell nice my idea of a gourmand is one that smells like scrumptious yummy edible you know in the first place that is my idea of a gourmand you know but this gourmand it's not for me it is personally not for me you know it feels bitter i don't get that battery like a butter you know um bread vibes i don't really get it you know in this one at all so i'm going to say for now for now it is all of the worst latter first i have come across i would I, I would not highly recommend this i would not say blind buy it it is not a safe blind buy you know at least you're like try and um sample it first before you attempt to get a full bottle you know yeah the next one i have here is an oldie that is going to be opulent red i had that i have since decluttered um opulent red is a fragrance that was super strong and polarizing and even me who claimed to like you know complex fragrances it was a bit too much for me that i had to declutter declutter it after having it for about three or so months you know it was a little too much for me um i couldn't just do it whenever i get into a, a fragrance shop and i see opulent you know um red you know at the shop i still try it and i think when you go to into, into shops those um, bottles are already like macerated fragrances you know that people try and anytime i still try opulent red it still gives me a very appalling you know experience i also get the vibe that they were going for something mysterious and dark and sultry but i think they missed the mark when it comes to opulent red i'm going to go with um anna and glory from the, from latafa anna and glory 
had the potential i think people say they love that fragrance i can see the appeal with the pineapple the creme brulee i can see that you know but to me it is it, the turmeric sort of you know was a bit too much after letting it sit for a while i enjoyed anna and glory from the, the the beginning you know the um the first few months i did enjoy anna and glory but after going through some you know aging and maceration the turmeric became a little too intense for my personal liking i began not you know appreciating it as much and i have since sold my anna and glory it, it is not a bad fragrance but it is a little the spice the turmeric spice was not done in a way that i appreciate you know um as a person who loves you know strong pungent spicy fragrance there's something about anna and glory that really didn't do it for me after maturation so that is going to be it. the next one i have here is going to be um um ragba you know the og ragba i don't think i want to dwell on this you know because I've said it several times. I do not like Ragba. Okay, so when it comes to Anna and Glory, I'll say get something like um, December Vanilla in replacement. For me, for me, that is what I will say. Get that in replacement of that, you know, because if you're looking for a creme brulee vanilla scent, I would rather December Vanilla than Anna and Glory, you know. So I'll go to Ragba, and Ragba is one of my worst, you know, purchases. It doesn't smell good to me. It smells like, as I always say, heavy smokers, you know, saliva, you know, it's on skin. It smells worse than on clothes, you know, it puts very saliva-ish, you know, like on skin than on clothes, you know, and I think that has been the experience of several other people, not me alone. So yeah, I wouldn't dwell on that. I would say go for the Ragba Wood Intense. That is like my, my vibe, you know, I appreciate that a lot more because of that addition of the licorice and other spices, you know, which makes it more appealing. It's more appealing to my nose, you know, than the OG Ragba. So yeah, I think that is going to be, that is the, the, the other one i have on the list the next one on this list i wouldn't say i hate or is the worst worst but i've never really enjoyed ajua you know ajua from latafa it, it, it got a hype you know it got a hype and quickly you know died and that is what that is i don't i don't enjoy it as much you know unless i try to layer it with something else i get the whole you know date and insensi sort of thing but there's something about ajwa that i do not enjoy i would rather do camera or camera kawa i see the you know the likeness of this one to um the og camera you know because of the note of the dates you know i see the likeness to it but i would rather camera than ajwa there is something about this that i do not like you know it, it's it's not bad you know i would i think i would enjoy it on someone else but i don't think i i, I have ever enjoyed ajwa on myself you know i know i have not you know unless i try to box it with something and then i can appreciate it a little more but what is the sense of trying to you know make something work you know when it's supposed to work by itself you know so yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i do appreciate ajoa but um it, i would say it is not the worst of the worst you know but i do not really enjoy ajoa i'm going to go with another one that i this one i do not like i really actually hate this one i am white you know that eba pira you know inspired you know version from latafa the mask is not blended well the fruits do not smell natural they smell synthetic and the mask feels like a you know those heavy ambroxan sort of feel that you know sort of hits your nose in a very bad way i do not i've never appreciated i am white i still do not like it you know it's one of the latafes i do not care for i would just Put it at the back of the shelf you know and um i i think i have just a 30 ml you know of it and i still have that you know the 30 ml i got is it 30 or 15 ml that small one you know and it's still there i i barely touch it i barely you know try to utilize it get um confidential you know confidential which is the keki sort of you know dna to the i am white you know i would rather say get the confidential to to the i am white although to me that whole ever pure keki dna has never been like a favorite of mine 
something like kaltout royal blends also is a very good alternative if you want that fruity you know sort of vibe i think fruity woody vibe without that heavy mask of the Eberpira, you know dna um that i guess in the um white and the confidential so i think i would rather go with the kaltout royal blends even over confidential from latafa you know and kaltout is also from latafa the next fragrance I have here is going to be Ajayib Dubai, the one with the pineapple butterscotch vanilla. That fragrance sort of haunts me. It gives me, you know, um, I think it will be a very good fragrance to to include in a Halloween fragrance, you know. You know, that sort of spooky vibes. That is what Ajayib Dubai gives me. I think the combination of the butterscotch, the pineapple, the vanilla and other things to my nose wasn't the best composition maybe it had a potential it's never smelled good you know to my nose there's something like off 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 about ajayi um you no know, dubai the portrait one is like different that is the the mango one you know but the the ajayi dubai with the black you no know, juice in the bottle and to this day, I still do not like it. I it's rep it's like very repulsive to me. It's repulsive to me, it, it, like scent wise, you know. And it reminds me of like a very spooky. It's, I don't like it, you know. It sort of gives me like haunted house moments, you know. I don't like the whole vibe of the thing. I don't know. There's something about that that you know. I personally wouldn't. I don't even want to try it on my skin anymore maybe on a tester from afar i will but it's one that to me is one of the worst you know releases that i have come across and i'm going to also add musama musama the og one to it you know that leather suede um lavender or i think that is a heavy masculine like scent and that is like one of the worst chemically gasoline you know fuel that i get from a fragrance I've tried that fragrance severally. I try to like it because a friend of mine actually do like that fragrance. And I but I don't see the appeal. You know, I don't see the appeal. I, I think it's supposed to be this like woody, you know, like a strong woody, you know, um masculine scent. That whole wood leather lavender combination was a bit off you know i think it's one of the worst releases by the house of latafa to my nose you know? so i would rather say go for um Udain, you know, which is going to give you a much better tolerable woods, you know, woods with like, uh, it, Udain says it has wood, but I don't get any wood. It's all about the woods, you know, and the spice, you know. So I would say go for Udain as to Musaman, you know. So I think these are like 10 fragrances, Zanzibar, Ajwa, Latafa, um, the like African drama, Ajayib, Dubai, Ragba, Brush Vanille, Opulent Red, I Am White, Anna and Glory, and Musaman. Those are the 10 fragrances to me that forms part of my West, you know, um, Lata face. And I have since decluttered a lot of these that I had in, a, in my collection. And that is going to be it for today. And I hope this video found you well. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.